boys and girls. So <clears throat> there's been a lot of difficulties with, with students understanding how to make a, a football playbook. So on my screen right now, you can see the 4304 gym. Okay, so let me go to classwork. Uh, when you scroll down to football playbook, right? So this is due December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve. Uh, these are some examples that I have. So these are some examples from last year, okay, that, that uh, students did. This is my example from this year using the Jamboard. Okay, I made it up, created it. Uh, this right here is where you would go to make your playbook. So you would click on this, go to the Jamboard, make your playbook. The resources for the playbook, right? So these are different routes. And this is, this is a Jamboard of all different routes that are on it, okay, that you can use. Uh, you don't want to create the routes um, too hard, too many movements. You want it to be short and sweet. Uh, as these are in this one here. If you go to this, you'll click on it. There's slants, there's down and ins, there's posts, there's streaks. Okay, there's down and outs uh, and, and others. Uh, when you go to here, this is all the directions of what you need. Okay, so these are all the directions of how to get a, a four on this project. Um, make sure that it's colorful and inviting for sure. Make sure that the team name is creative. All right, so when you go to make your playbook, you click on the Jamboard. All right, and it takes you to the jam board. Here you all get your own copy of it. This is what you have to do. All right. So on here is where you're going to put, you can put this, the text. You can put your team name. So team name, uh, let's say what will be uh, Mr. Kelly's Heroes. S excuse my typing, please. Okay, you can make it bigger. All right, so that's that. You can create a background. So if you click on this, set background, you can create your own. You can get it off of Google, uh, right here, Google Image Search. You can type in uh, PE. So let's do PE. It comes up with all these images. You can put whatever you want, whatever your team name is. Okay, you put put a picture on the back of it. That would be that would be look really good. All right, so let me try to get out of here now. So let's just do one. Let's just do this. We'll do this. Set frame as background. Boom, okay, and you can change the color of this too, right from here, if you want to make it yellow so that you can see it. You can't really see that. I'm gonna make it green, blue, maybe we'll make it white. So you can see it better, a little bit white, maybe move it to a spot that you can see it, okay? All right, then you come up here. Up here is where you would click to do the next frame. This is where you start your playbook, okay? This is where you start it. This would be one play. You should have 11 frames. So this should be 11 of 11 or whatever it is. It should be 11 as the second number. Okay, the first one is your title page. Okay, the team name and your name. Put your name on there too. Um, the second page is the start of the place. So what you do is you can use a pen for this if you want. There's all different options for the pen. You have to make a line of scrimmage. So the line of scrimmage is where all of the players start on offense, usually depicted by where the, it is depicted by where the football is on the field. So if this is where the football is, all players on offense need to be on this side of the ball and they're going this way. Okay, so they're going this way. All right, now, after you create your line of scrimmage, then you put in the quarterback in the middle. The quarterback is always in the middle. You can put QB. This is the person that throws the ball. Okay, so this is the QB, the person that throws the ball. Now. After that, you want to maybe you want to use the text again to put the players on there. You could put the players wherever you want on the line of scrimmage, as long as they're on the line of scrimmage. Okay. So now you can put the players there. You can put the players there. You should change it up for each play where they are, um, just to make it more interesting, make it harder for the other team to to to, to know what you're doing. After you do that, then you get your pen out, whichever pen you want. I personally will like this one, the highlighter one. I'm going to do black. You can do any color you want. You could do a different color for each route, whatever you think. Be creative. Um, so let's say this player is going to do a post. So if you look at the plays, the examples of the plays, this would be a post. This player, let's say, was going to do a down and out. So it's going away from the quarterback. So it would be out. If they went this way, it would be down and in towards the middle of the field. This person, let's do another post. You need three receivers. Now for this play, uh, I'm gonna name, it. the only other thing that you need for this is a background, maybe a background color, um, and a play name. So a play for this name would be, so Mr. Kelly's hero, so let's say this game is, uh, we, all students should know, uh, Smackball. So we're gonna call, because it relates to Mr. Kelly's, uh, the, the title, it relates to it, okay, and it kind of looks like that. People are running all over the place, different areas in Smackball, fun game. 
Uh, now this play is basically done. I could set a background. Maybe I'll make it blue. Whatever it is, don't do exactly what I'm doing right now, but, but be creative. Then you go to the next play, and you do the same thing. Line of scrimmage first. Okay, and you have to do this 10 times. Then the QB needs to be in the middle. The three receivers on the side, give them a route to do. Give it a name. Give it a background color. Next play. Boom. As soon as you're finished with all these plays, your playbook is basically done. You might want to go through it and make sure that go through the rubric and make sure that all of the things in the rubric uh, are, are on the playbook. But if you follow this, you're basically got a four right there. If you can follow what I just did and make sure that you have ten different plays. So I only have one, two. So I would need four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different plays because uh, the first page is going to be your title page. That's why there's eleven different pages. Okay, so you would need ten. All right. Um, that's basically it. Boys and girls, if you have any more questions, look at the resources that I have or send me a message on Dojo or send me a message on Google Classroom and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so follow this video and you should be, should be fine. Make sure you use the line of scrimmage, three receivers, and the QB. The receiver routes have to be basic, the ones that we have in the resources and the uh, name of the play. Okay, make sure it's colorful and inviting and you're good to go. All right, boys and girls, good luck.